We're on the Ovens River at the Tarawinji Reserve and we're, we're into day one of the 2015 translocation program, which is the second year of a five year program to re-establish the Macquarie Perch into the Ovens River and the broader catchment. Macquarie perch are a, they were once a dominant species, particularly in our Midland rivers in the Murray-Darling Basin, and they've undergone some major reductions both in abundance and their range, to the point that they're now a nationally endangered species, threatened here in Victoria. We've got pest species, carp and redfin have come in and they're competing and predating on, on these species. So the iconic Murray cod, the more recently re-established trout cod and the Macquarie perch all used to be co-dominant or abundant species in the lower and mid ovens and so we're in this key section of the mid ovens just upstream of Wangaratta and we've, we're releasing fish all the way up to about that Myrtleford area. It's one of the few rivers in the Murray-Darling Basin that hasn't got a great big dam on it and we've got a natural flow regime so therefore good productivity, it gets, gets floods most years and it's got a pretty good native fish population. Some of the works that the CMA has been involved with uh, throughout this reach of, of the Ovens River include a variety of things, so um, starting up on the bank riparian vegetation and then improving in-stream habitat, uh, quality of in-stream habitat and then looking at overcoming fish barriers and some of the, the issues with fish moving within the waterway. We've gone through a process of mapping all the snags so we know areas where there's uh, a shortfall in, in abundant habitat so we target those areas, work with landholders and the community fishing groups and other agencies to help um, target those areas and get some, get some snags back in there. We get all the environmental factors right in the river, there's no reason why they can't take off again, so us releasing fish like this, it's just giving them a bit of a kickstart to hope, hopefully they do their own thing. This is part of a two-step process, releasing fingerlings that are bred at Snobs Creek Fish Hatchery and releasing adult and sub-adult fish so that we get a natural age class distribution into this system. The more you can build up the various supports in the ecosystem that have, that have dropped away in, in the, over the last 150 years, the more resilient that that system will be and the, and the better able it, it can withstand the, the, the vagaries and knocks that it gets from the environment, floods, drought, fire and so on. Yeah, just the more resilient the, the whole system is. A fish up to 40 centimetres long could be up to 25, 30 years old. Um, so whilst they're long lived, if we get all the environmental conditions right, one female can produce up to 100,000 eggs or more. So we tick all the right boxes, they'll just go, they'll go gangbusters. important part of our way of life to be share a common goal of doing things for our community. Like We're really appreciative of the community support, the Wangaratta Sustainability Network, particularly the Restoring Our Waterways group are really fantastic. They've taken ownership of making improvements on the ovens and their carp control and general awareness is really critical so we're appreciative of not just that group but all of the groups that are involved in making the ovens much so much more of a better place.